what's up? It's that metal guy 1983 and tonight I'm coming to you with an awesome beer review for a brewery that's actually from my home state and I did a craft beer review for them one of the first videos I ever did on YouTube about three years ago Iron Horse Brewery. I did their Irish Smoke of Death. I think I'll probably if I can get a hold of it again do another video on that revisited with more knowledge that I have now. How you guys liking the shade, year, hat, peace, love, and beer, baby. All right, so Iron Horse Brewery. This is PB and Death. Let me read you about this. PB and Death takes the flavor profile from your favorite sandwich spread and combines it with rich chocolatey malts. The result is a playful sweet brew with notes of dark toast, roasted peanuts, Happy snacking. You're welcome. And Iron Horse Brewery. Look at that dark, smooth brew. This is the can. I love, love, love their artwork. Uh, and this is 6.53% volume ale brewed with natural flavors. And I want to say, yeah, they're out of Ellingsburg. Ooh, that's nice. And the pour? Oh, dear heavens. Oh, that color is beautiful. It's almost like a peanut butter color head on this. Look at that, guys. Oh, my goodness gracious. Wow. Ooh, you smell it off the nose. Mm. Look at the color. Definitely a dark ale, very malty. Mm. What? It's chocolatey peanut butter goodness. And this is awesome. Wow. So you do get the dark toasty malts, the chocolatiness, but you're getting that peanut, like not like a super sweet candy like peanut butter but like if you were to you just go out and crush your own peanuts and make your own peanut butter it's like that in a beer wow that is awesome holy smokes if you guys can get a hold of iron horse brewery stuff around by you i highly recommend it look at that dude he's got his little peanut butter knife he's got his monocle do not pass go do not collect two hundred dollars. Today is my Friday. I just got off work and I am ready to roll and have a good night. Want to shoot this review for you i'll probably post this up tomorrow because i already just put one out today been doing, doing a whole bunch of nakazi so let's this a go please subscribe to the channel down below hit that notification bell so you're reminded each time i put out a video and hit the thumbs up if you like it and please if you're a part of the craft beer community you know anybody who likes these type of reviews send them my videos if you know anybody who would like to collab send them my videos um lovecraft beer i got plans somewhere down the line to get involved with doing my own and this is one of the breweries that originally inspired that it's probably one of the First stouts that I actually fell in love with was the Irish Smoke of Death. It comes in that big 24-ounce bottle. And I made the mistake of 
drinking it late at night. So I was like, I, I swear there was like enough espresso in there that kept me awake. Maybe that's just me. Maybe it was just amped because I was super stoked by the taste. Very impressed with this. Um, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch me. On the note of peace, love, and beer, let's talk about peace, love, and understanding. Spread it throughout your life to those you love, those that you just come into contact with. We're not in contact within the same proximity of most people, uh, but those who are essential, thank you for what you're doing. Also, love to animals, your world around you. Once we get back in it, let's do our part to make it a better place. Love on everyone and everything because there's enough of the opposite. We don't need to speak its word into existence. Let's put forth good energy, positivity, creativity. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Wow. Did it again. You did it again, Iron Horse Brewery. You did it again. Just doing it, see if whatever. <clears throat> Sometimes YouTube will pull the most random freeze frame and it ends up looking really cool. I actually, for the longest time, didn't know you could just put whatever picture you want on there. So I'm probably going to see what it is. I'll end up taking a picture with the can just in case and make that as my thumbnail. Uh, anyways, cool. Yeah. It's malty and just ever so sweet peanut. It's got more of that natural peanut taste. And when they say they make it with natural flavors, I mean, they got to be using the real deal. So if you're allergic to nuts, don't have this one. If you are, and if you're not, enjoy. Dark, smooth brew. Oh, yeah. And just so you guys know, if you haven't been here before, I call my followers here on Instagram, that metal guy 193 on Instagram, and then here on YouTube, the Ow oh, Yeah Army. Um, it's just something I do at the end of each one of these videos. Um, it may be creepy. I don't care. I love it. It's my combination of Ken Kniff from the old Eminem CDs, Macho Man Randy Savage, and the Kool Aid Guy been perfecting it for years so either you're with it or you're not if you're not eh. I do these because I enjoy it and I don't care what other people think if you're with that cool please subscribe please like the video please comment down below that is what I want to see. I want to see comments. Even if you don't like, hit that thumbs up. Let's shoot the breeze back and forth in the comment section. Um, I would love to grow the Oh Yeah Army. That would be awesome. Just to spread our underlining message of peace, love, and understanding. Thank you, Shade Headgear, for the hat. Thank you, Iron Horse Brewery for amazing beer thank you to everyone who watches my videos and to bearded blonde for always doing a repost of my videos and making sure that i get even more exposure i appreciate you dude keep on rocking and ah! yeah yeah